Let's watch the intro. Oh, we went to get a hotel no, 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 without no, telling you or waiting for you. See if you hotel three stars. Wow, they, they fucking, they put that on the plaque, dude. Three stars, no better. No, no one ever, you know, those things are for show. Ha, ah, Maya, I presume. Uh, oh, don't be alarmed. Uh, your friends. I'm, you alarmed. And, uh, I'm alarmed. I'm alarmed. I'm alarmed. He came out of the fucking floorboards. I'm alarmed. Uh, room 101. It's all been paid for, so you don't have to worry about anything. You are very nice friends. Very nice. And there's uh -huh. uh, quite a few of you I see as well. Nice to see so many friends. Those look a little bit like German, doesn't he? <laughs> For a change. <laughs> Just so uh, one person saying. Music festival a little bit like Bill Nye, too. Yeah. We were well, I've seen a bit of Bill Nye tonight, as well. But... <laughs> There's hardly weather for that, is there? <laughs> uh, will you be staying for breakfast? I see I Bill Nye so. in there we'll now. probably just get going. Fuck, dude. That's fine. And uh, if you don't mind me asking, Maya, would you be interested in uh, the entertainment tonight? You, the bro, tonight. entertainment! Uh, starts around midnight, usually. It's, it's me doing it, actually. Comedy. Oh. I do this comedy character called uh, Hugo Hunt. Oh. He's sort of this comedic uh. sociopath uh. who says things that you're not supposed to say. Oh. That sort of thing. Um, it's quite popular with students. I'm, I'm I good. don't think so. I think we're good. We're good, together, right, chat? We're good? Are you sure I can't... <laughs> Twist your arm on this. We're good. We're it's not. Okay. We're not I'm doing this. Just go to we're bed. not doing the show. Sorry. No show. Fine. Fine. No. Fine. No show. Which way are the rooms? Um, just take the lift. Uh, you're on the first floor. Okay. Thanks. Oh, and and then drop your key off in the box, uh, if you will, Maya. Please tomorrow. Okay. Hmm. Best show in town, and no takers. Who needs proper entertainment when you've got YouTube and my face or whatever? Stupid, uncultured. You don't like Ruth, They're naughty. You, you go? Don't start this again. You go. I don't want to hear it, okay? Not tonight. Naughty children are bad eggs. They need to be taught a lesson. Uh. <coughs> Don't. <laughs> shut up! Just shut up! You always do this. They're paying customers. They haven't done anything to you. Just leave them alone. Oh. Bad eggs need cracking. Whack them hard and crack the shell. Kick them down the stairs to hell. Oh, he's crazy. You know crazy. what you need to do, Jimmy? Grandpa! Show them who's boss. That's the way to do it. <laughs> 
sleeping without sealing your whole face inside of a blanket cocoon. Fucking amateur hour sleeping technique. Fucking actually pathetic. They wouldn't be attacked if their entire head was fucking, like, encased in the comforter. That's it. Go to Yo, that was Grandpa. What, she lock herself out of her own room? She tried to call 911. Most horror protagonists never bother. And what's this? She immediately looked for the master key. This kid is on a whole nother fucking level. Damn. Oh, now she's gonna listen to ghosts. Okay, she's dropping back down. She's now listening to the requests of ghosts. Yikes. Seaview Hotel has a dark past. Its ghosts have a story to tell. Use the ghost and spirit receiver to talk to them. Oh, wait. Stop that. It plays into the, uh... That, yeah, that's it. But if we do any more, it's going to play into the tutorial, and I want to spoil stuff. So, uh, now we start a new game. Which puts us right here after just picking up the receiver. About five inches from the desk. This is a device you found. Click on this to switch it on. Okay? It can detect spirits' voices if you're near enough to them. All right. If you haven't seen it, go to the menu and watch the tutorial video before you continue. Never. Shaky? Yeah, we, our character is naturally a little shaky. Our character's got a little bit of a shake to them. But as you can see from the graphics, it's actually like 50% fucking film, and it's really fucking... It's really pretty, chat, this game. It's got a it's got a spicy fucking style. I'm getting a headache. You're a little whiny bitch, uh, is what you are. Uh, you've been watching it for about 30 seconds. <laughs> uh, I don't care. Are you gonna fucking... I just get lost. Like, I, I don't have the energy. <laughs> Today. But, uh, yeah, let's, let, let's take a look at... Let's take a look around, chat. Take a look around. Me, 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 me. Take a look around. Try the doors. You told us. That. Look, chat. I don't. I don't know what to fucking tell you. Like the amount of fucking times that I'll play a game and someone will be like, "This aesthetic hurts me." Like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> this isn't. I can't turn it off. You know, <laughs> it's the game's aesthetic. Let's just take a look around before you start fucking dumping all over the game like you always want to do before you give it a chance. You know? Take a look at our spirit device. Start the conversations with spirits by asking introductory questions. There is no if there's no reply, then no spirits are around. A loud noise means there's a spirit with high energy state near. Okay. Is anyone there? Is anyone Is anyone there? No one's here. Chad, no one's here. Now one person is here. Let's go. Upstairs. I have to find a compass and a scrying mirror to play the game. Which means we have to go upstairs to the hotel rooms. That's the only places that are accessible right now is the master hotel room. Because uh, that's the only place we have keys for. So you can go to floor one, two, or three. Now, I can tell you one thing about the game. Jimmy... All right, Jimmy can only get you on floors one, two, and three. He cannot exist on floors G and LG or in the stairwell. 
However, on one, two, and three, he can be anywhere. It's the rules. Now, I am going to take us to a smooth one. Who's Jimmy? Grandpa. It's someone's fucking birthday today. Now, chat. I actually don't know how Jimmy exists or if like what our clues are that he's even around. I just know that Jimmy can be around. So I'm going to be checking behind me every once in a while as, uh, as we try to loot some of this. Try to look around, get some items. I'm going to try look through keyhole. Uh, it looks like a storage room. I'm going to try to open this fucking door. No, no, ba, 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 ba. open the door, open the door, open the door, open the door. Get out of here. Open the door, open the door. Open the door, open the door. Stop, try the door. It's locked. And I don't know how to open it. I don't have the key. Jimmy? Jimmy, you're around there. You gotta tell me. Let's just keep looking around. What was that? Toilets. There's nothing in here. Stairwell. I don't see Jimmy down there. All right, Chad, let's just keep, let's just keep, let's just keep fucking going, dude. What's this? Phone, clock, door, store. Found the store. What have we got here? Uh, looks like just a pile of just stuff. Pickle wrapped in string. Garlic. Flat sound of a door opening next to me. Can I? <laughs> uh. Swear to God, I heard something. I uh, don't like that. Jimmy. Yeah. Circus poster. J Jim Jam. One seventeen. I can go into this room. Oh, the lights are off. I'm going to leave this room. This game's spooky because you move so slowly that if you make a wrong decision, you feel extra fucking doomed. I'm gonna go into 116. This room has lights on. Now, I'm going to go ahead and lock the door to this room. Oh, I cannot. I could have sworn you can lock the doors to these rooms. I guess I won't need to on this one. I can also hide, I can hide in the bathroom and I can hide in the wardrobe. Just keep your ears peeled. Take a look around, nothing in this chest. I need to find my mirror and a compass. There's nothing else in here, we're leaving. Jimmy? Now we can press D to lower the game volume so all we can hear is footsteps. Basically we can turn off the proximity music. Which it makes it so we can just hear the sound of Jimmy if he was around. So this game's like mostly audio focused. Jimmy? Nothing over here. Don't see anything over here. Oh, I hate it. I hate this place. Why am I here? Why did I? Why am I here? What's it? Locked door? Uh, why am I here? What? Maybe you should go to a different floor. 118. Let's go into 118. It's locked. Jimmy's right, Tomato. You're a bad egg. Shut up. I'll tell you, just gotta... Just gotta find... Chet, this fucking door thing just scared me. <laughs> I need to find, like, items. I need to find something that makes me feel good. Check in here. What is in here? Key. 119 key. Try keys to open the inventory, face the door, and select a key. Okay. Doors can be locked or unlocked with the right key. I see. So I could go up to this. Go into my inventory. Click key and lock myself in this hotel room. And now, god damn it, dude. If Jimmy was outside, I wish him fucking luck. 
getting me. No. I thought you had the master key. No, that's only the master unlock key, not the master locking key. You know what I mean? What if he was in the bathroom the whole time, though? He's not. Everything's fine. Everything's cool. Chad, everything's cool. Everything's cool. It's the same thing. It's not the same thing. You don't know that. Have you ever owned a hotel? Are you Jimmy? Is it, are you, is this Jimmy I'm talking to? All right, chat, what I also know is that the way this game works is if Jimmy gets me and I die, I lose all of my items. Everything I've picked up is lost immediately. Therefore, all the keys I've collected, all of it, poof, from whence it came. Look through window. Huh, that's pretty nice. Doesn't change the fact that Jimmy might be somewhere on this floor. I hear someone behind me. Let's go into room 120. Keep, keep just like taking a quick look around, you know? Anything in the chat? I win. I won the game. Yeah, that's one of the strongest weapons in the game. We should be able to cleave Jimmy and Twine now. Uh, pretty much instantly. Uh, if we run into him, we will cut him in half. I don't really need it. No, 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 no. Grab it. No, I don't need it. Chat, basically what we have instead is knowledge of a sword. If we run into a ghost that likes swords, we can talk to them about the sword, and they'll talk. To, that's like how we can talk to a ghost. We don't actually take it. All right, it's a conversation starter for ghosts. Jimmy? Jimmy? Jim, Jim, Jim? Jim, Jim? We're just looking for that compass and scrying mirror, dude. Oh, good. Another dark, completely pitch black room. Check for ghost. Uh, no point genuinely checking for ghosts until we have a compass and a scrying mirror. Like, actually. So I'm not even gonna bother. We need to find those in one of these hotel rooms. While avoiding... Hello! S be luggage? I love luggage. But that's all that's in here. Listen for Jim Jam. I don't hear him anywhere. Check the door thing. I don't see him anywhere. Chat, keep in mind, I could summon Jimmy by simply yelling his fucking name. Immediately call out to him and try to bait him to me, which can work in my favor if I have a key. I could lock him into a hotel room. I'm fairly certain, if I wanted to. If I had the method to do it, I could seal him in a tomb. But uh, I'm not I'm not gonna even bother trying, because I'm an idiot. Uh, Jimmy, Jim Jam. Let's go check around the corner. Not seeing anything weird. All right, let's just, I don't know if we can hide in hotel rooms, actually. Uh, all right, here we go. Chef's hat and whiskey. Key. Stairs, floor one. And a lighter and turpentine in this big loot level, chat. Big loot. Oh. Is... Jimmy out there. Hang on, everyone be quiet. Everyone shut the hell up. I don't want Grandpa to know I'm hunting ghosts again. I don't hear him. Wow, we are the loudest. Okay, everything looks cool there. Everything looks cool there. I'm gonna go this way. Uh... This door's probably locked. Yup. Man, my character, yeah, they have a loud clunking move. Okay, 107. Dark, completely inaccessible. Chat, we need a flashlight to actually be able to like, navigate dark areas so we can't even go in here. They're not, there might not be much else on this floor. I don't remember how many rooms there are on every floor because I've never played, so. Here we go. I got a good feeling about compasses. On this one. Okay. Is there no light switch? Light switch? No. I don't think so. 
I don't, I don't think so. But this is a cursed run. I believe while I was testing this game. Was that, was that shadow, was that shadow always there, chat? No, that's just a, that's just a shadow. That's just a, that's just a shadow. Jimmy, Jimmy wouldn't be one spooking around that hard this early, dude. It's early game. He's got to ramp up his difficulty. Give me a compass. Oh my God. Chad, I gotta go to another floor, but I don't even know how to get back to the fucking elevator. Like, actually, I'm lost. This game's hotel is like a fucking maze, and I'm at- this is a dead end. Room 111 doesn't even open! Oh my god. Well, let's hope Jimmy's not down here, cause, um, there's nowhere to go. But this way. Jimmy. I don't think I've done 106. 106 is new. Scry mirror! You found a scrying mirror. Reveals hints and clues when used in dark places. It's my walkthrough. Either by the door of rooms or in the ground floor kitchen. Anywhere that's dim, you can use it. Use the mirror to see clues about where to go or which items to use. It will also help you locate lost keys, compasses, and the ghost box. And a key. So it could tell me where the compass is. And the compass is how you find ghosts. It gives you an arrow to like where a ghost could be located. Must be real quiet on floor one. Makes me think Jimmy doesn't even exist yet. Makes me think Jimmy might not be trying to get me. Yeah. Exit that way. Locked door. Jimmy right behind you. Jimmy wouldn't do that. That'd be too predictable. This is the elevator. I believe I left that way to begin with, so I want to check this room quickly. This one here. 101. I don't believe I ever did 101. Oh, yeah. We never did 101. Dies a pan bottle. Trophies and awards. B bloodies, uh, cloth. And nothing. Really just want the compass. But this is the room I was staying in. You can tell because my stuff's in the corner. Why are you bleeding? I think he was in there the whole time. Oh, look at that guy. Hey. Okay, so I just came this way. Let me go down this path a little bit more, because I believe these rooms might be... Oh, look at that guy. All right, these are all rooms I haven't checked. After that, we get the fuck... out of here. Dude, I love it when my hotel room comes with complimentary dies of Pam. Key for this room. Deadlock key for room 104. And... Child's purse. But they still had some cash on them before they died. Might be able to use that to pay off Jimmy. Just wanted to do a quick Jimmy tech check down the uh, hallway there. Don't want Jimmy around. Can I get a compass, though? Just a, just a compass. Not. A, I don't want a key. I just want a compass of some... Nothing. Are we sure? Nothing? Okay, not... Are we... Okay, there's nothing in there. Blah, 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 blah. Nothing. All right, this is a clear. This room's totally clear. How we know? Jimmy, check. Quiet. Like the dead of night. No Jimmy for fucking miles. Chat. Not a Jimmy to be heard for a thousand miles right now, chat. On this floor. He's got to be hiding on floor three or two. Who is Jimmy? Uh, he's got a really funny comedy act. I can tell you that much about him. Use mirror? Not yet. Another scrying mirror. A compass! You found a compass. 
points towards nearby spirits. Let's get the fuck off of this floor right now. Jimmy, check. We're gonna go. We're gonna go back down to floor one now. I got it. I got it. Compass point to ghost. I ain't using it on floor with Jimmy on it though. With possible Jimmy encounter, no, no. Did you hear that? I heard something. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Call the call the call the police. Call the elevator. Call the elevator. Get out of the fucking elevator. <laughs> I heard like a scurry. I heard like a, 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 a little scurry, dude. Back on floor one where no one can hurt us. So we've got a key that opens up the staircase, which is pretty good. Where, uh, where's that at? Where's the stairs at? That's an exit that's sealed. I'm guessing this is stairs? I couldn't even see in there. Is this... The stairs? That's the wrong key. Okay, this is not the way to the stairs. And this is Spooky Kitchen. Alright. No ghosts on the compass. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. And no Jimmy. For fucking miles. Let's go down this very long hallway. Yo! We don't even need to go find Jimmy, dude. We'll just kill some time here until our friends are all dead and the sun has come up. We will hang out in the arcade. They've got pool. Dude, this fucking hotel is sick. They got time crisis. It's sort of busted. They had outrun? Dude. They had fucking outrun, man. And pinball. Pinball is one of the better arcade games. Anyone that doesn't believe that can fight me. I will take you out. Okay. So is this a, is this a stairwell? Can't even see in here. I don't think that's a stairwell. Then I believe the stairwell is permanently illuminated. Where the hell is the stairwell? I guess I know one way I could find it. Oh, it might be literally right here. Ah, yes. The stairwell. That thing was all chat that that door was already unlocked. Chat the door was already unlocked. Why was it already unlocked? Oh, floor one. This is ground floor. We want to go up to... We have the stairwell key for floor one, which is in British fucking weirdo terms that don't make any fucking sense. This door. Try the door first. It's locked, asshole. All right, game. Are you happy now? Now unlock it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, scenic, beautiful... Floor one. Well, never going back out there. Jimmy could be on that fucking floor, and I'm not about to bother with that. Now let's take a look down in the basement. Do you hear that? Doggy? Sounds like a dog or a kid that's crying. We have to take an elevator to the basement now. That might be one of my friends. I don't know. How, I don't know anything about any of my friends, so I don't know how old they are. So I have no idea really what I'm looking for when I think about saving my friends. I don't. I do not know their their details. Any of them. We're going down to the lower ground floor. Come on, Seth. Hello? Uh. Hello? I'm detecting something on the compass. What the fuck was that sound? Hello? 
says there's a says there's something in here. Hang on, I'm gonna ask. Is someone there? Is anyone here? Is someone there? Don't you fucking ignore me, asshole. I can hear you crying. All right, fine. You puss out? They might be in the hallway. Compass says they're locked in these fucking lockers. They must be a nerd. Or they're behind this door here. Ah, yes. That's gonna be a jump scare one day. Not today, but one day. It's locked. The, the ghost is mobile and has currently walked in to meet me square in the middle of the hallway right there. Okay, I'm gonna ask if they're here again. Hey! Is someone there? Is someone there? Okay, a uh, little white, little, little bitch, little bitch ghost, uh, afraid to talk to me, afraid to square up. Fine. Fine! I guess I'll go hang out with a different ghost. Fine! Bye! Go back up to the ground floor and we'll look for ghosts up there. Alright! Okay, bitch! I'm going back downstairs now! We'll see about this! You noted girl in the basement. You're still in here! <laughs> Thought you got rid of me, huh? Back up to the ground floor? You know I'm in the basement, right? Which is lower than the ground floor? The ghost isn't here anymore. No, they are. Listen, Ghost Chan. Are you sure? Who's there? Hello? Hello? Spirit is too distant. Try moving closer. Okay. You, uh, hang out in the hallway? You behind this door? I believe this is their corner. I'm gonna try talking to this kid again. Hey, kid? Hello? Hi. They're still really far away. I think they're in one of- I think they're in this fucking storage cabinet. <laughs> I think they're in here. But uh, I don't have a key to open this thing. Let's try the- let's try here and then let's try the stairwell. Is someone there? Hi. Demon child, I wish to speak to you from beyond. Uh, hi. Hey, how do you feel about medieval blades? When you meet spirits, you can ask them questions, pair their replies to make connections. What's your name? What's your name? I'm Amy, Amy, you're dead. You're 10? You're dead. Do I tell them they're dead? Do they know they're dead? Is it like your job if you're a ghost person to tell the ghost they're dead if they are if they might not know it? Do I tell the kid she's dead? Ask spirits about the things you've seen. Mm, I could ask her about this children's purse I have. You'll see their reply when selecting the item. Ask them about, uh, ask them about this child's purse, or I could ask them about this diazepam. Where did the bottle of diazepam come from? I don't know, I'm 10. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Stop holding out on me, kid. Shut up. Where does, where are all these, where the sword where does come the sword from? Belong to? Jimmy, Jimmy had it, didn't like it. All right, Amy. So what do you know about bags? I saw some suitcases in a chest. Who did they belong to? I don't know. You would say that. What are you hiding, Amy? The 10-year-old girl. 
Where did all these empty whiskey bottles come Why from? Is there a collection of whiskey bottles in one of the rooms? Fuss up! You would say that, wouldn't you, Amy? But someone had to drink it. Someone must have drank it, Amy. What are you hiding, Amy? How do you feel about this turpentine and lighter? I found a bottle of turpentine and a lighter. What were they for? I didn't know what they were until Jimmy showed me. I see, I see. You know anything about, uh, you know anything about, about chef's hats? Who did the chef's hat belong to? You know the chef? I don't know. Yeah, of course you don't. What good are you then? And I hang up the fucking phone. I'm never asking once about the child's purse. Yo, kid, what do you know about all these trophies? some trophies. Who won them? I don't fuck it, yo. I'm an idiot. Voice vaguely heard. They didn't have an answer. Why is there a blood-stained cloth in one of the drawers? Do you know anything about this blood? It could have been mine. Oh. Why? No, I don't, uh, I'm gonna ask you about this child's purse. Who did the child's purse belong to? Surely you, right? It was mine. Okay. It was And it was stolen. I saw a girl in the basement crying. Is that you, Amy? She... It was me. A boy called Jimmy locked me in the basement. Then he started stealing things from me. My God. A boy. Dude, Jimmy's been doing this for a long fucking time, by the sounds of it, chat. There are many ghosts in this hotel. And she's calling him a boy. And he's an old man now? Mother of God. The amount of dead bodies in this fucking hotel. The amount. Hey, I gotta ask you about this key. So have I asked her everything? She didn't have an answer for the suitcases. Of course she fucking didn't. Of course she didn't know anything about the suitcase. Match two replies you think connect to work out the spirit's story. Uh, cloth could have been mine. The purse was mine. Pairing citing replies with an item replies. Pair citing replies with item replies for faster progress. Okay. When you said Jimmy stole things from you, is that connected with what you said about the purse? Yes. And you told him off and he still wouldn't listen? Am I dying? Amy? Amy? Amy, are you there? Is someone there? Amy! She fucked off. All right, let's go to the ground floor. Cause right now I'm on lower ground. I have to go up to G now. Amy better be up here. I'm gonna get real pissed off. G for ghost floor. Amy? G. Hello? The arcade. She's playing Outrun right now. In the arcade. Woo! God, it's actually a lot scarier when it's all real fucking actors and like actual fucking camera shit. I re it, it does actually hit me a lot fucking harder like that. It's not even like, this is just a child like a kid but like that's fucking spooked me well amy pissed off i believe i can re-watch what she said for like hints so review sightings jimmy stealing from amy jimmy, give it back. That's mine. Stop, stop 
Stop stealing my baby. Baby, baby. Stop stealing me, baby. Well, I'm detecting a ghost presence. I'm, I, I'm detecting some kind of ghost presence in this hallway. I mean, I knew there was a ghost in here. I guess I'll try contacting her again from directly right here in the arcade. Amy! Is anyone there? Did you run? Why'd you run off? Hello? Amy, you run from me again while I'm asking you questions about the horrible way you fucking died. And I swear to God. I will, I will freak out. All right, I won't ask you about Jimmy stealing from you. Wait, is she too far away? Is it Amy? Oh, I saw the talk. Yes, I'm Amy. How's it going, Amy? Look, I want to ask you about why Jimmy was stealing I from you. I you shouting to Jimmy to give your toy back. Why did he take it? <sighs> Damn, Jimmy's fucking toxic, dude. Jimmy wouldn't listen. Why? I can't add this to a pair, nor can I ask her about it. A boy called Jimmy locked me in the basement. Jimmy thought about stealing my toy, and it was funny. He gave it back, but he ruined it anyways. I feel like in order to ask Amy anything else, I gotta find this toy. Basically. Be like I need to know of the toy. I'm gonna have to find that toy. Chad. Amy, I'll be back. I just have to go back up to floor two. We checked floor one. There's nothing left on floor one for me. Chat. Which means now we have to go up to Wait, 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 wait. Where did the compass tell me? Was it did it say there was something over here? No, just Amy. No teddy bears on the ground floor, right? We would have seen them by now. Use the sword on Jimmy. I feel like he'd kill me, dude. Jimmy's extremely powerful, man. Hang on, before we do anything stupid, how about before we do something fucking stupid, because we're not stupid, I'm gonna go to the kitchen and summon my scrying mirror and ask it like a magic eight ball what I should do because everyone's gonna keep yelling at me until I've used it at least once. So I'm gonna stand in this dim hall. This isn't dim enough. This, uh, this has got too much illumination. I'm gonna go over here to the kitchen and stand in the dim kitchen hallway and summon my scrying mirror and ask it for help. Spirits of the beyond, I summon thee. Ah, yes. It all makes sense now. Hmm. Water. He poured. He poured. That looks like whiskey. Chat, that looked that looked like the whiskey. We need to find that teddy bear, and I believe he poured whiskey or turpentine or something on it. Cool, I learned nothing. I learned something. I want to ask Amy about the, uh, the whiskey again, because I just used my... She won't believe me, but I just used my spirit powers to see into the future. I'm going to see if I can sort of circumvent this. Hey, Amy? I, uh... Amy, are you here? Is anyone there? Amy, please answer. Amy, stop. Answer faster. I have a sort of a, like, Amy? job to do today. Yes, Can we skip the formalities from now on? Uh, children shouldn't drink alcohol. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Now nah, we chat. We're gonna need it. We're gonna... We're gonna need... We're gonna need to find the... The fucking teddy bear. Yeah, 
Ever steal anything with the purse, though? What you said about Jimmy stealing your toy, is that connected with what you said about the purse? Of course you don't fucking know! God! You are... Uh, what you said about Jimmy stealing. Could he have, uh, punched, like, beaten you up? Could he, like, taken you out? What you said about Jimmy stealing your toy. Does that have something to do with the blood-stained cloth? Could it have been a serious conflict? She's like, fucking, she's spooked. She's, like, looking away from the mic. God damn it. Could Jimmy have been extremely drunk when he stole your teddy bear? What you said about Jimmy stealing your toy, does that have anything to do with what you said about the whiskey bottles? Oh, she's fucking leaving. All right, fine. 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 I'm hanging up. Chad, we're going back upstairs. Floor two. Otherwise known as the spookiest floor. I don't want to tell you I could die on this floor, but it's possible. Toilet break, maybe? Maybe quick toilet break before I press number two? Me, me go toilet break quick. I'm gonna leave you here in this fucking elevator alone. All right, a ghost might come try to get you while I'm doing it. All right, that's just something you're gonna have to live with. I'll be right back, dude. I'll, I'll be right back. Jimmy! Yeah, I hear whistling? No, you fucking don't. Dude, whistling isn't real. Well, let me see. Let me show how I know. No one can whistle. Listen. That's the best anyone's ever been able to do. You guys want to do three or two? Hmm? Three? Floor three? Or floor two? Two. Guys, two is the most dangerous floor because it's got the most entryways. Are you sure? All right. I want to do telephone. You can't do telephone. Jimmy. Wait. Is this two? Wait a minute. This is birthday. Then what's floor one? Hold up. I want to make sure I didn't like go crazy. Does also have a birthday out out, out, out thing? going on? Okay, they've all got birthday stuff. Just differing amounts of birthday stuff. Okay, so that's floor two. Hang on, I might go up to floor three real quick. Hold up. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's judge which floor of these two we're gonna go into based on how cursed floor three looks. Yeah? By the way, has the game audio been okay? I want this game to be loud so that everyone can hear, like, every audio cue. Oh, we're not doing floor three. All right, we're gonna do floor two. We're, we're doing... No, let's do floor fucking three, dude. Jimbo. Jim Jam. Oh, I hear sounds and they are fucking terrible. It's like windy. A chest. Broken wall mirrors. Jimmy? I mean, if Jimmy came this way, there's only one thing he's doing over here, and that's coming to get me. Man, I don't want to die, dude. What a process. What a cruel fucking process that'd be. Don't see Jimmy anywhere. ba 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 Okay, I thought I saw him. But I was mistaken. 302. Floor 2, please? No! 
We're floor three gamers. All right. Okay, that's a dark hallway. We're not gonna do that one. Jimbo? Jim Jam? Don't see him anywhere. Locked door. Dude, these fucking sessions when you're up here and you know Jimmy could be around, fucking tense as shit, dude. I do not like this place. This is tense. Jimmy? This actually, this floor's not that big because half it's dark. So it looks like we'll be going down to floor two where Jimmy inevitably is uh, any minute now. Gun? Oh, that's a ring in a box. Never mind. I thought that, thought that was a gun. Dear mom, I'm sorry for everything. Goodbye. Yo, I bet Amy knows about that dear mom thing. Jimmy Hall is on the floor looking for you. Stay away from him. Okay, dude. Can I find a key here? I hear him. I need a key. Give me the key. Give me the key. Give me the key. Fuck off! Chat! I'm in a serious problem. Because hear me out. Okay? Hear me out. There's only one way to go. <laughs> so if Jimmy is on this floor at all... I'm fucked. There's only one direction to go to get on the elevator. And it's the very end of the hall. All I can do is go outside. Okay. Call Jimmy's name and hope that he chooses the opposite fucking room. And when he does go in there, I fucking haul ass out of here. Or... I wait in this closet for the next 30 minutes until Jimmy dies of old age. Hang on, everyone shut up. I don't hear him. Wait forever? I sort of like the idea of waiting forever. Let's check outside. But I don't, he, I don't see him, which is cool. Chat, I don't, this game's sort of freaking me out. Can I get a key for this zone? No? Okay, chat. Unfortunately, we only have one option and that's to leave or wait for Jimmy to kill me. <laughs> so I think we go out there. How scared? Chat, he's not a ghost. I'm dealing, we're dealing with ghosts. He's not that. He's not as scary as a ghost, dude. He's just a guy. He's just a guy. Remember, he's just meat. Just meat. Okay, that's all Jimmy is, is meat. You know, he's not, he's not ectoplasmic. He made the ghosts. Oh, that is true. <laughs> But it's true, everyone that's a ghost here was made a ghost on the house by Jimmy as part of his entertainment comedy act. Oh no. We have to remember, this isn't Jimmy. This is... Uh, what was the name of his uh, comedy act? Uh... Hugh, Hugh, Hugo, Hugo Slam? Hugo Punch. This is... This ain't Jimmy outside. Alright. Right now he's RPing as Hugo Punch. I'm gonna open, I'm gonna check outside. I'm gonna listen. I don't hear him. I don't wanna fucking do this. <laughs> Woo!
<laughs> was right there. He's camping me. I'm stuck. Chat. I'm stuck. You have to dash past him. Chat. He's hiding in there to get me. Coward POV. Chat, I'm gonna die and I'm gonna lose all my keys. And then and then Amy is gonna fucking laugh at me because I'll also be a ghost. Do you understand? What I'm trying to tell you is this is a closet game now. We hide in the closet. Closet POV for the rest of the stream. Be a man. I'm gonna call him. Chat. I'm gonna fucking call him. I'm gonna call him over here. And then... I'm gonna hide in one of these. I'm gonna fucking summon him. No, 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 no. Hey. Jimmy! You little bitch! Why don't you come get me then? Alright, now we just sort of watch from here. And we'll hide in the bathroom. If he comes into my side. If he goes in the other side, then we book it. Alright, everyone just be cool. <laughs> the second we start to panic is when he gets us. Okay. Well, if he just camp in the hallway, like, and he just won't move. Everyone, just be calm. This is fun. This is cursed. It's extra scary because it's like actual film, <laughs> which makes it feel a lot like a horror movie to me. Which is definitely landing. I don't think he fell for it. That or he's outside right now. <gasps> I'm gonna hide in the bathroom. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I don't, I'm gonna throw up. Dude, I'm stuck. I have nothing I can do. He's. Get, I'm in a corner. I'm in the corner of the map. And it's a straight line to the exit, and there's no branching paths for him to take. Check again? You think? He might have doubled back. Oh my god, chat, I think I have to fucking die. If we had a key, it'd be possible. Like, we could seal him in a room. But we can't do that. He's like right around the corner, just like ba like calling- Oh! He's doing it again! Guys, I can't play this fucking game like this. I'm gonna have to just close my eyes and let him kill me. He knows I'm in here. He literally knows I'm in here. He's waiting for me to come out so he can kill me. Dude, that's it. Up the ante. I'm gonna call him from in the fucking wardrobe. <laughs> I'm gonna raise the fucking stakes, Chad. And when he goes into the bathroom, I run for it.
I can't call him from inside the fucking room. God damn it. Why is Tomato so scared of a balding guy? Dude. I am 100% dead. Chat. I think I have to kill myself. Lock him in. I don't have the key. I don't have a key to lock him in. You can call him when you're at the door. I think he's going to do that spook again. I'm here. Fucking idiot. Psycho. Why are you? Why are you crazy? Why do you want to die? <laughs> why do you want to die? Run? Chat. He's right outside the fucking door. I didn't think it would work. <laughs> See what he's gonna do now. Is he gonna think I'm gonna, I'm too I'm too smart to just stay in this room? <laughs> and he's gonna come in here, gonna see there's no one in the main room, and then he's gonna walk over to the other room. <laughs> Once he go in that room, I'm gonna, I'm gonna then I'm gonna slip on by. I'm freaking out. I don't feel good. He's not even falling for it, chat. Because he's camping the fucking door. Chat. He's not in the room. He just knows better. He He's smart enough. He's already checked the fucking keyhole like four times. He knows I'm in here. He's just camping me. <laughs> I can't. I actually have to go die. I think. I'll lose my keys. Basically, what will happen is if I go down, he will take my compass my scrying mirror and my keys and like redistribute them into the map is essentially what happens i'll lose any keys to lock doors i don't think i lose any items i found like as in like stuff to talk to ghosts about but i will lose everything else and i think i have to accept that as my fate because i cannot handle another fucking moment of being here in the jimmy zone you know what i'm saying he's griefing me he's griefing I think I'm just going to run for it as fast as I can. Yeah? But I'm going to close my eyes while I do it. But first I'm going to check the keyhole. The, the, the spyglass one more time. Just because I want to know if he's like right there or not. <clears throat> I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna call him. I know he's right out there. Come Got in. You. This way. Come in. Come in, you stupid idiot. Yo, Bacob de Bepis. Thanks for the fucking. Thanks for the 20 gifted subs, my guy. Real nice of you. Real fucking nice of you. Tomato's been in this room for 20 minutes. True. Dude, I'm trying to see if he'll walk in here or not. I think the only reason he isn't is because he's camping the room as hard as he can. He knows he doesn't have to come in. If I walk outside, he'll instantly kill me. Right? That We know this. Chat, I don't actually have the sword. I just noted the sword. I didn't pick it up and take it. That's it! That's it! Sometimes you gotta be someone. You gotta stand up for something! Jimmy, you stupid idiot! You fell for-
for the oldest trick in the book, baby! must have gone all the way back to the other side. It's a straight line, but it goes a little bit the other way. He must have gone deeper into the zone. What did I find that I want to tell that kid about? Rouse purse. Goodbye note. I'm gonna ask this kid about that goodbye note, though I am positive that whatever I want is certainly on floor two. But let's ask her. Anyways, Amy, I had a long fucking day today, Amy. You here? Is anyone there? Hello? Is, Is it, it Amy? Amy? Yeah, it's me. Amy, you want to talk about this goodbye Who note? wrote the note that says goodbye? Did you smash these mirrors? How did those mirrors get broken? She's not gonna know any of this stuff, but I'll ask her anyways just to cover my bases. Who did the wedding ring belong to? Yeah, she's an idiot. Basically worthless. I know I got a new key. Okay, chat. It's the key to the storeroom. Okay. But I have no idea what the fuck a storeroom is. I'm gonna guess it might be the basement, however. But basically, it's one of these rooms around here. It's gotta be one of them. But basically, it's gonna go down the line, just try it. Now, there's technically also, I think, a storeroom on every floor, which I definitely, if it's the one for the third floor, I'm just not doing it. We can't. That's not, I'm never going, chat, I will literally never go back on that floor again. You guys, I hope you guys enjoyed floor three, because I made a big mistake thinking that was a good floor, and it paid the price. I paid the price for that. Okay, well that door doesn't even look like it has a key, but I'll try it anyways, we're just checking everything. Okay, this doesn't even have a key, okay. Make tons of noise, please. Jimmy cannot come onto the floor, first floor. Uh, that's actually like the game rule. So, I know at the very least that I'm safe here. Which is nice because this game might have one of the most suffocating uh, vibes when you are being chased by an uh, evil man of any horror game I played in a long fucking time. That was, uh, floor three was one of the worst experiences I've had in, in uh, this month, I believe. Uh, easily. That was as bad as stay out of the house. For me. That was fucking, that was a bad scene. Okay, so this floor, I believe, may have storeroom. The basement. One of these might be storeroom. Ronky, not it. All right. You a storeroom? No. Can't, can't even unlock that. And unfortunately, this is just a key. This is just the way to the uh, stairwell. You have the first floor key to storeroom. I checked, ch I swear to God, I checked every single fucking, I swear to you, I checked every single fucking, like, door that was usable on floor one. It was none of them. Hell, I vaguely remember, wait, no, there is one spot. There's one spot I didn't check. There's a little alcove, let me check quick. That's the only spot it could be. Because I vaguely remember seeing something similar to a storeroom on floor one. But I dread the idea of seeing Jimmy ever again. How could they make simply a fucking video of some guy peering around a corner be so unsettling? No, it wasn't this spot. It was, uh... No, 
I wasn't here either. I swear to God, this storeroom thing is on the, uh, because we already checked this. This wasn't it. I swear it's on the first floor. Doesn't change the fact that what we need to do is <clears throat> actually look for that teddy bear. None of those matters. Pretty sure it's on floor one, not ground floor. But I'd rather check floor two first for items than uh, go back to floor one hell floor. Hey, at least we know the game will tell me when uh, Jimmy is here. Hey, I mean, that's... I mean, I could check the... I, let's do the floor one. Let's check it for the storeroom first. Come on. All right. Almost positive it's on floor one. And it'll tell me if Jimmy's on the floor. Unless it doesn't tell me. But we'll also hear him and see him. Hopefully. <laughs> Storeroom? Door locked. Oh. We already had access to storeroom. It literally just lets us go in here, which can also be used to lock Jimmy into it, etc. Okay. It's an extra room to hide in and to trap the Jim Jam in. Floor two, let's go. While Jimmy's still wandering around floor three like an idiot. At least the elevator's fast. You know? Ah, floor two, baby! Jimmy, you weren't here! And we're going back down to uh, floor one. One minute. Fuck that. Here on this floor, Jimmy's nowhere. I can explore this floor at my leisure, even though there's nothing to explore because I already did it. You know, but at least there's no, at least Jimmy's not here. You know what? Oh my God, please don't make me do it. All right, fuck it. Wait, the compass, is the compass on? Compass, are you detecting anything? No. See, if Jimmy was gonna get me, it'd be right now after I walked all this way into floor one. He'd fucking show up, make his silly sound. Chat, fuck it. Be a man. I'm going to floor two. I have to. The secrets are on floor two. I can't wait forever. I believe I heard Jimmy that way, so I'm gonna go this way. Okay, it's too dark this way. This is the only way. Jimmy! Jimmy! Too dark ahead. Apparently, there's nothing here because it's so fucking dark. Oh my God, I hear him! Over here, just call the elevator. I don't care anymore. Raw one. Woo! Was that a ghost or was that the Jimmy? I believe that was the Jimmy. Hang on, I have the Jimmy. I won't go back to a uh, ground floor. Chad, I believe I may have missed the teddy bear in a room. I might consult my scrying mirror. I could check. Hang on, let me check the, uh, if it was, if it was a, oh, that was a Jimmy. Yeah, that, that was, yeah, that was Jimmy, all right. That was, that was, that was Jimmy. OK, 
can, uh, you can tell pretty much a mile away that was Jimmy. Yep. Story 4% complete. Well, keep in mind, we have a lot of the items, we just haven't found the ghost. Is there a ghost in here right now? Hold up. Hello? Is someone there? Okay, uh, asshole. Is someone there? I thought maybe there'd be a chef in here. I was gonna ask. I summon the spirits. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, this is the same as last time. I just want to confirm the thing. Yeah, there's a teddy bear getting shit poured on it. Again? I think I missed one of the room. I must have missed a room on floor one with items in it. Because I feel like the teddy bear's got to be an item that I can pick up. Unless I have a key that I'm unaware that I had. Goodbye, no. To... Here's the thing. If I try to talk to Amy right now and ask her about this blue spot, like Jimmy wouldn't listen, it doesn't, I don't actually have the option to have a conversation with her about it, which is weird. I'm hoping that's not like a bug. And even if, even if it was turpentine that he spilled on the bear, without the bear, I have no connecting thing. I guess I can try asking again. Because it's that or I have to go explore. I'm going to double check all the connectors. Just to be 100%. Amy, Is someone you got to stop playing around. All right, Amy? Hello. See, one of these times it's going to be someone else that answers and not Amy. And it's going to scare the shit out of me. How's it going, Amy? So, uh... So, Jimmy, did he torch your fucking bear? What you said about Jimmy stealing your toy, does that have something to do with what you said about the turpentine and lighter? Ah, yes. It all makes sense now. She wants me to go to floor one. Amy, I pass. Amy, I'm gonna play Outrun instead of going to floor one. All right, I'm gonna hang out and play Outrun, I think. Yo, Mongrel Mary, thanks for the 50 fucking dollars. Thank you very much. Clings to tomato like a scared qual. This game's fucking scary. I believe uh, Mary was actually uh, the one who recommended it, uh, this game. Excellent recommendation streak from you. Very good. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And the range top fishing, thanks for gifting us up. All right, back to floor one. Uh, again, I like this game so far. It's also fucking beautiful, very pretty. Back to floor one, is Jimmy on this floor is the thing about it. Jimmy? We'll be able to hear him. No. We gotta find the ghost. They're in here. Wait, no, they're not. Are they? Compass is doing some weird thing. That's a... That's a storeroom. Nothing in there. Compass is... Stop. No, 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 no. I want to go this way. Compass takes a little while to update. Sometimes it makes it hard to tell where I'm supposed to be actually going. But I believe I'm on the right track right now. Matter of fact, looks like it's 109. Amy! 
You in here? Who's there? Wrong room, sorry. Wrong room. Oops. Oopsie daisy. Unless she's in the hall. Hello? Amy, I don't have time for these fucking games. It better be 110. These doors are locked, Amy. Hello? Hello? Oh my god, she's really pissing me off. Chat. And I checked 106, correct? I guess I'd be able to tell if it was her room because the purse would still be in here. Oh, less static. Anyone here? Damn it, Amy! Oh no. Did you hear it? The compass is honestly, frankly, fucking worthless. Is my problem. I choose 106. I mean 101, my room. I'd like to see you get me in this one, man. I got the key to this one. No, I don't. Never mind. I was wrong. The compass is the worst. And it definitely does not help me. I'm going to ask the scrying mirror to help me narrow this. All right. There's Amy crying again. One oh nine, there we go. I needed that. We have to get to one oh nine. But Jimmy is snooping around. Okay, now here's the thing. I'm gonna have to check inside here because Jimmy is on this floor and he is gonna be coming around town to get me soon. He doesn't know I'm in this room, but he knows I'm on this floor. So I'm thinking I might just wait for him to walk by. Chat, I'm eons from 109. Eons. Oh, that's good. Chat, we're gonna wait for him to come over here. Then we're gonna fucking spook around. We're gonna wait for him to walk right on by. Then we go the opposite direction. Hope he's not there. Okay. You know? Yeah, 109, three, 109 is at minimum. Okay, at minimum eight rooms away. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Which room is this? 106, Jesus, 107, 108, 111, 110, <laughs> 109!
Do I have the key for this room? 104, 119. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. It's happening, I'm gonna vom. Oh. <laughs> Right outside the fucking door again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's safe for me to do a fucking ghost summoning. <gasps> oh, you just ratted me out, Amy. You, I am so mad at you right now. You just, that was loud. Oh, we're back here again, huh? Back at the old wardrobe. <laughs> back where it all began. Tomato, this game is scary. This game is scary. I think you have the key to 109. I definitely don't. Hence when I checked my inventory and I didn't see it. Jimbo. I'll check again. I'd love to lock him in a room. 105, 104, storeroom, 119. Not 109. So here's the problem. We're back in another situation. We're at a dead end. Now I gotta ask, Amy. I gotta ask, Amy. Are you in here? <laughs> Is it Amy? Amy? Yeah. Amy, we gotta make this quick, all right? I'm about to be killed by Jimmy. He's about to come in the room. Okay, Amy. Uh, I want to talk to you about that on-fire toy. holding a toy on fire. What happened? My hand got burned. It was really hurting. I couldn't tell anyone. The sword! Second floor. A Amy? I have the sword. I need to go to the second floor. Hang up the phone. Hide in the wardrobe. <laughs> in that order! All right, chat. Now we have to evac back out of floor one, back to ground floor so we can use our scrying mirror to make sure we want to go to floor two. Because honestly, last time I went to floor two was pretty much a wash. Uh, pretty much locked down that floor. But I saw the floor two. There was a picture of a guy. He looked like he ate something he was allergic to. So we're going to be going up to floor two with a picture of a guy. Looks like he ate something he's allergic to. First, we have to get by Jimmy. I don't even want to go chat. This is so fucking nice. This is nice. Okay, I know this game is spooking you guys, but right now, this is good. You know, there's nothing, nothing can get us here. This right now, nice as it's been all day. As long as you don't rub your hands against this, the, the hard, brittle wood, because you might get Splinters on the wood. Which would be even worse, I think, than Jimmy knocking my head off with a bat. But I haven't seen Jimmy in hours. You know, that's the thing. So I'm going to do a check through the spyglass. I don't fucking see him. I'm going to start running for it. He, if he come, he can't, that's a dead end. That side's a dead end. The only way to go is this side. All right. Man, he laughs like a psycho. What the fuck is your deal, man? He's right outside. No, the chance is now. Time, it's now, it's now time. Bye bye, Jimmy, that's a dead end. Good fucking luck catching me now, fucker! Which way's the exit? 
This is a dead end. I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. I hear Amy crying. Amy, you're on your fucking own right now. I gotta go. I'm leaving. Hit the elevator. Back to ground floor, ground floor, ground floor. Go, go, go. Oh, man. Jay, that would be really scary. If I didn't move for another minute and the elevator got called up to me. <laughs> I should get out of the elevator. <laughs> okay. So, we know we're going up. The stairwell works as an escape. Yes, if you have the keys to access the other floors. Technically, I have access to floor one and ground floor. So I could have taken the uh, stairs, but I don't know the layout of the map that well. And the nice thing about the elevator is that it's marked with signs, which makes it, if I can get to it, much nicer. Okay, so I'm gonna run on over to scry. Uh, I'm gonna use my scrying powers to scry again. You guys know how this works. I'm gonna scry, and then I'm gonna see if it's still telling me to go to floor two. I heard Amy crying near the exit on floor one near the elevator, uh, but she can piss off for a little bit, all right? You know what I'm saying? Floor one. Guy. Floor two. Angry Jimmy. It seems like the bad play is floor two then. Cause I, all I got from floor two was Jimmy's entering like ultra instinct mode. I saw ultra instinct in that picture. I don't think I want to go on floor two anymore. I feel like he gets, he, he's going to get extra powerful if I go to floor two. Oh God. I don't want to go to floor two. <laughs> actually like, it's actually pissing me off how fucking, uh, ah! I gotta get, I gotta get, uh, we gotta go. We're gonna do it. Go to floor three, there's another for me on floor three. something on this floor. Hello? Knock, knock, knock. It's getting... Is the light on? This li these lights weren't on before. Go in 217. These lights were not on before. Peter marked dangerous. Dude, if there's a ghost inside one of these fucking wardrobes, I'm gonna fucking piss and shit my pants. This sounds like it's right on top of me. Is there anyone in here? Is anyone there? Is anyone here? Bathroom, maybe. Who's knocking?
Sounds like it's right here. I'm gonna try 18. It sounds like it's right on top of me. Is the thing, which means it's something in the zone. Thanks for letting me know that's actually very polite of you. That's not a ghost chat. That one was Jimmy. Not the scrying mirror. Nothing. That's the room I'm in. I can seal him in this room now, provided he's far enough away that I can bait him into it. You guys think he's right outside the door? I need to confirm where he is before I can lock him in a room. Because I have the key to this room. So basically what I need to do is call him from this room, immediately leave the room, go over to the other room and hide in there and watch through the keyhole while he enters this room. Knocking guys gotta shut the fuck up though. Stop that. Stop that. Stop it. But Tomato, he's got a really good joke queued up. I do not care. Basically, I can't do the knock thing until I block this guy in a room, essentially. I need time to explore all the other rooms on this floor, basically. To find, to find the knock, because this room, this whole floor used to be dark, like too dark to see. Okay, that's it. Just let me confirm. I have the door. I have the key to room two eighteen. One last check. If he's not outside here right now, I'm gonna call. Go to the other side, other door. Hide in there. Watch through the key until he comes into this one. Here we go. Jimmy? Jimmy. And now, provided he doesn't see me, now we will hide in this room until he fucking, like an idiot, goes into the decoy room. When he does, we will lock him in. Is he even on this floor still? Oh, he's on this floor. Hear him? I don't think he fell for my big trick. Cause if he had, he would have gone in that room. Matter of fact, he checked the opposite one. The one he couldn't have known I was in unless he had watched me the whole time as I yelled from down, from down the hall, Jimmy, I'm here, and then ran outside, snickered a little bit, and snuck in another room across, like, directly parallel. So I think he might have seen me go in this room and is, like, laughing it up again. Man, he's a fucking fast motherfucker, though, isn't he? Knocking guys gotta shut the fuck up. K 
Katie with $20. Please don't let him get us tomato. I'm not ready to die. Oh, and also Merry Christmas or something. Thanks. I appreciate that. Merry Christmas to you too. Chat, I have to go outside. But first. I just want to see if I could call ghosts from inside here. He, which way did he go? He went this way. So I'm gonna go this way. And explore stuff that way. Not that way. There comes a time in a man's life where he's gotta be strong and brave and tough. This is it. No, it's even farther away. Where the fuck is that knocking? Key. Stairs, floor two, that's super good. And a compass again, and nothing else. Yeah, this is a nice room. This has like fucking, it's got heating. I haven't heard the Jim Jam in a while, is the thing. He might have fucked off. For real this time. I'm gonna keep exploring these rooms. For now. Not the key. Storeroom. Again. Storeroom for this floor. Scrapbook of newspaper articles. And a washing line and rolling pin. Definitely heard the Jimmy. Again. Promise chat, we are once again in a long hallway, dead end, uh, thing. Um, he could easily just check every room down this line and eventually get me. Just cause it's a dead end. All he has to do is stand on the far end of this hallway and he'd get me, he'd win. Did I get the key to 223? No. Fucking hell, dude. This game is tense as shit. He's right on top of me again. I need to see him before I fucking... Do my thing, you know what I'm saying? I need to be able to know where he is initially. Be a man. That's it, be a tough boy. Big, brave, tough boy. Be a tough, strong guy. And immediately check 221. Other key, 221. I'll take it. I really wish I could get knocking guy to shut the fuck up. What I need Jimmy to do is walk by that way. If he goes that way, we got the whole rest of the floor to ourselves for a minute. Okay? So I think I'm gonna shout his name. I know. Hey. And I'm going to have him cross to the other side. After that, we've got him right where we need him. Don't you see? Hi. Lock the door. That would be a good fucking idea, but then it would take me more time to leave once he crosses. Why would I lock the door? He's never come in the room. And even if he did, I have a bathroom to hide in, dude. All he's going to hear a chat, he's not going to hear a person in a room. He's going to hear a person in a hallway that could be in any of these rooms. Don't you see? Just 
Just everyone shut the hell up while I listen for the... Uh, try to watch out for Jimmy. Okay? You know, the only downside to um the film style of this game, the fact that most of it is actually like real film, is uh, artifacting, dude. This game's got some artifacting. I'll, I'll, I'll give it that. A little bit of artifacting in dark... Uh, it looks great, but, like, there's a little bit of artifacting in dark, like, darkness. What's that? The crusties that you see in darkness sometimes. Okay, Jimmy's such a little bitch. I can't believe he's not crossing. Wait, chat, that means he has to be over here. <sighs> And the compass has been worthless to me. All right, Jimmy, asshole. Let's tango. Jimmy? The storeroom. If Jimmy wanted to come in here and get me, it would be so easy. Oh my god, why am I fucking doing this? Why? Jimmy. Can I fucking just go home, dude? Jimmy's in this unfortunate position where he keeps just cutting me off and stopping me from going places. He's outsmarting me. He's a very clever man. Not yeah, Jimmy. So that door is locked and I have no idea what it goes to. On top of it, I'm in a dead end. Why? Whoa! Oh, he heard it, dude. He heard it, dude. He had to have heard it, dude. He fucking knows, dude. Here's the door lock behind him. Better, better luck next time, Jimmy boy. Better luck next time. <laughs> so we know he can go in rooms now. Wow. That was scary. I really did not like that. Okay, chat. The knocking guy is pissing me the fuck off. Cause like, the compass is so fucking bad at telling you where you need to go. It 
sounds like he's right on top of me. Like every time. It's so weird. I want this I just like, I, it might be a hallway. But I promise, you want me to fucking hunt for ghosts in the hallway? While Jimmy's around? I need Jimmy gone to do that. I need Jimmy on another floor. I cannot, I cannot do that. It sounds like right here. Outside 218. I'm out of here. I know what you're thinking. Tomato, little bitch, what are you doing? I am going to do the ghost caller at that skeleton cabinet. Oh, you little bastard. You better look next time, Jimmy boy. You better look next time. I'll see you later. Jimmy boy. Yeah, right. It's probably like hitting the fucking call elevator button really fast. Dude, fucking hell. That, the actor playing Jimmy is nailing the psycho spooky guy aesthetic. Uh, man, that guy has got a spooky deal. Very spooky. See, chat, here's my logic. Okay. Woo! I was told this was safe! I was lied to. I was lied to. The door's locked. That door's technically locked. By whom? By the game. The game said the the basement, ground floor, and stairwell are safe. You cannot be killed by Jimmy on the ground floor. They promised. <laughs> Chat, I need Jimmy on another floor so that I can do the ghost box at the cabinet. Okay. So I think I gotta go to like floor one and wait till I hear Jimmy doing his thing and then go back up. You know? I hear sounds on first floor. But I guess that's just Amy, isn't it? Amy? You in here, Amy? From 102, Amy? Is anyone there? She's like right in this hall. Hearing someone gargling or crying. Amy, you hiding in a suit of armor? I'm not gonna hear any if it's that much static, I don't believe I'll ever get anything. Check 103. Oh, dark room. It gets quieter when I'm in a room, so it's gotta be the end of this hallway. Hello? Someone there? Someone here? Is someone here? Is someone there? Is someone here? Alright, it's this room right here. Room 101, that's my room. But this is my room. Who's there? Right.
The compass isn't very helpful, unfortunately, is the problem. At least Jimmy's being cool for a fucking second today. Let's try right here. Hello? Is there someone here? Amy. Amy, you in there? Amy, let's talk, Amy. Yeah, you can tell if there's a ghost in the area because the static almost completely dissipates. Is it Amy? Amy? Yeah, it's Amy. Amy! You were scared outside of a room, I why? You outside a room. Something frightened you. What was it? I was trying to find a doctor, but Jimmy threatened me and made me stay. I see. Does this have anything to do with this bloody cloth you said you knew was yours? When you said you needed a doctor, but Jimmy threatened you to stay. Does that have something to do with the blood-stained cloth? What do you mean you don't know? Let's try Dizapan. She had no reaction to the Dizapan. Unfortunately. Well, what the when light? you said you needed a doctor, but Jimmy threatened you to stay, does that have something to do with what you said about the turpentine and lighter? Me, 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 me. Let's ask her about her toy being on fire. <laughs> well, let's ask her about the toy on fire. Did you hold the toy for too long? It has to be an object and a sighting, unfortunately. So I need... Why is there an old heater marked dangerous? Yeah, you know anything about this heater? I remember seeing a sword on, this, on the thing. Have you, uh, what about the sword? When you said you needed a doctor, but Jimmy threatened you to Did stay. he threaten you with a Does medieval that sword? With what you said about the sword? I'm gonna get murdered by Jimmy right now. I'm doing this. Floor one. Oh, that bitch! She scampered off again. You know who I bet scampered onto the scene? Jimbo. Now the whiskey. We need the compass to align before we go anywhere. We don't actually get proper directions, basically. Still wants this way. I believe it wants this hall. Down here. Continue. Continue around this corner. She said children shouldn't drink whiskey and she lied. You can't trust anything she says now. I know that's what I'm fucking thinking. Why are they lying, you know? Why? Why would you lie to me? <laughs> Why would you lie to me? Why? After everything I did for you. After everything I did. 
She lies. You in there right now? I guess I'll try the spirit box. But I'm gonna check if I can lock this door first, because I believe Jimmy might break in and try to fucking knock my head off. <laughs> so, uh... Let's check room 112 key. Do we have it? The answer is a no. Well, hey, yo, Amy. Is it Amy? Amy, yo. Yeah, it's me. Hi, Amy. Listen, Amy. I saw you drinking. Something. I saw you drinking liquor, you hard liquor. Like what was it? Could it have been this gigantic pot? You know, you really put a lot of these down, Amy. <laughs> it's like it's like five empty bottles. You, said the medicine you might have had a problem, Amy. Does that have anything to do with what you said about the whiskey bottles? Someone yells all caps eggnog in the chat. Shut the hell up. Please, I'm begging you. Amy? Amy? She's gone. Again. <laughs> hey. I need to consult. I need to consult the scrying mirror, but I don't feel safe doing it. Ah, whatever. Jimmy with a bat, check. Jim, uh, Amy crying, check. Still crying. Still so sad. Floor three. Oh, no. Guy. With hand on floor two. That's knocking guy. Amy's on floor three. Knocking guy is on floor two. Still don't know what his fucking deal is, though, is the problem. Chat. I do not remember which way is the way out from this exact spot, is the problem. I know Jimmy's that way. I don't know if that's the exit way or if I will be running myself deeper into danger. Do you know what I mean? There's a point of man's life where he's got to believe in something. Oh, that's a... Yep, that's the wrong... That'll definitely kill me. Oh! <laughs> I'm alive! I'm alive! I'm alive! I'm alive! Where'd you put me? Why am I alive? 107! He took away all my keys, that fucking ass! Except for the stairs keys. And some of the stuff from 105. But he also took away my scrying mirror and my compass. Oh dear. Well, the scrying mirror will tell me where a compass is, but first I have to find another scrying mirror in that case. That ass. This is a very upsetting video game. Yeah. It sure is, isn't it? I'm glad he didn't kill me. He just knocked me out and hauled me into a fucking corridor. Well, I technically know I have to go to floor three, and floor three is pretty small, but first I'm gonna go back to ground. Why did he hit us? Because he's fucking mean, dude. That was scary. 
That was fucking scary. Chat, basically what happened is if we had looked over into that corner fast enough, he would have had a tell. He may have even peeked over. If we had watched that corner long enough, significant chance he might have like peeked around the corner to give away that he was there. But I, I was spooked. Look in the first floor thing from my, what the fuck? What was that? What did it just say I should look for? It said first floor storeroom, didn't it? Which isn't actually this floor. Is this... This should still be unlocked. My ghost talker. Ah, yes. I also believe there's a scrying mirror on the third floor. This is the storeroom here. Which has my ghost thing. Easy. Almost too easy. All right, we're gonna go to the third floor. Wait, it says I have my compass back. That's not true, is it? He might not have taken my compass. He takes like random stuff. Maybe he didn't snatch my compass this time. If I still have my compass, I can just go I don't need the scrying mirror to tell myself to go to the third floor. I already know I already did that. I already know to go to the third floor. Uh, which is of course the cursed floor. It's not updating. If there's no ghost on the floor, it's not gonna update. Chat. Chat! Chat, please, God! Chat, God, please, God! God in heaven, Jesus Christ, God, please! Jesus! God! I don't know, dude. Compass look broken. I mean? Compass saying she not in there. Compass is... Ah! I gotta get to the stairwell. Compass is saying there's still more to do over here. I guess I don't- maybe I don't need to be in the stairwell to call her? Hang on, I'm gonna just try talking right here. Amy? Someone there? Amy, are you here? Spirit is too distant. She's in the stairwell. I have to go upstairs. And by go upstairs, I mean go, uh, like, down the elevator and up the stairs to get to her. So let me go back to ground floor and climb the stairwell up, and that'll put me right where she is. God, this floor is claustrophobic. Yeah, it really fucking is. The third floor is the scariest. The other two feel like I can sort of, like, get around him. Third floor feels really fucking bad, to be honest. I really don't like it. Which I guess is the fucking point. These devs have made a very spookily laid out hotel that is definitely cursed. Like, it's cursed. Right? It is. This is a cursed fucking layout. I like this because it's like horror Nancy Drew, you know? Okay, so this is locked. I just want to make sure so Jimmy doesn't kill me while I'm doing this. Hey, hey, hey. Is anyone there? Amy, good to talk to you. Hello. Amy, listen, I just saw you at the top of the is stairs. Amy? Nancy Drew is horror though. Chat, the only scary Nancy Drew game is Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. Where Nancy Drew can quite literally explode herself in the middle of the lake on a boat. Actually fucking die and newspaper articles come out talking about how she fucking blew herself up to smithereens and died. 
and it happens on camera. Like it zooms out to a bird's eye view of like a bird just watching from a tree as a boat goes out in the middle of the lake and then poof, explodes like a fucking balloon. All right. One day I'll play Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. All right, and you'll know that one was actually fucking scary. Oh, by the way, Amy, how you doing? I saw you at the top of the stairs, on the banister. What were you doing? I felt really light. I really thought I could jump down to the bottom. Oh, no. Oh, Amy, you stupid, stupid idiot girl. So I take it that's why you were in the basement? Because you fell all the way down to the basement. Correct? She was drunk. One more flight. Nope, she's not here. And I have to actually take an elevator to get down to the- Woo! Alright, I figured it out. I cracked the code on how she died. Amy! Do you read me? Is it Amy? Amy? Yes, I'm Amy. Hey, Amy. Hey, Amy. Saw you, saw you died. I saw you lying at the bottom of the stairs. What happened to you? I jumped, but then it all went dark and I couldn't wake up. I can't wake up anymore. I don't know where I am. You're in the shadow realm, kid. You're in the shadow realm. You have completed Amy's story. Well, Amy, there's nothing I can do for you. So, uh, pretty much that's the that's the, that's the end of you, forever. Switch to the next disc to continue the story of Knocking Guy. Trying to lock me out of my hotel room. What the? That, I bet that story is going to be really fucking exciting compared to Spooky Girl. Hello? Oh, I'm just locked out of my room again. Just some guy. I'm going to need to find a scrying mirror for this guy. Ain't I? I mean, I guess, here's the thing, chat. You really don't need a scrying mirror to find ghosts because if you just go floor by floor, the compass updates on every floor and says if there's a ghost on that floor automatically. So I know there's nothing on ground floor right now because the compass isn't moving. It's, it's floor wide. So I got a bottom floor and there's nothing there. Then we know that we don't have to do LG, etc., etc., etc. We don't really need the scrying mirror. From now on though, I know there's I know there's a scrying mirror somewhere on floor two, but that's not very helpful when there's like 20 rooms. So chat, from now on, if I see a scrying mirror in a room and I don't need it, write it down. Write down the room number. Because I will find that very helpful. No ghosts on this floor. No. No. No, I don't think I will, Mr. Tomato Gaming. That's a secret. Happy Martin, thanks for the $25. Asks, ask the ghosts if it's Tuesday in it. You mean Tuesday? I don't under, are you being mean to the UK ghosts? Are you being fucking toxic? Dude, I'm not gonna let it fucking stand anymore. Let's go up to floor three. I'm dre- as you can see, I'm avoiding floor two.
I'm avoiding floor two. Completely. If I can, I'd like to go right around it. Uh, hello? Oh, god damn it! Fuck! It's the only floor! Oh no, I know it's the Jimmy floor too, because I haven't heard Jimmy anywhere. God! God, please! The light flickers right here. Jimmy? Jimmy? I'm Dr. Bose. I'm just here to have a little chat, okay? Thank you, Jimmy. I won't be long. But really, he was going to be there forever because he was going to die in this room. Probably, if I had to bet. If I were to bet money, he never left. Spooky heater. Hey, uh, hi. Hi. Is anyone there? Is anyone there? Hello. Hello. What's your name? What's your name? Dr. Birch. I'm a clinical psychiatrist. Your first name would be cool. Or your, like, first and last name, just, like, in general, instead of just, like, whatever. Hey, listen, I gotta ask you about some things, such as, but not limited to... I saw the little girl, Amy, holding a toy on fire. I just want to ask you if you saw Amy on fire earlier today, just wonder. Jimmy sounds like a fucking psychomaniac, dude, what the fuck? Hey, I want to ask you about... Specifically, diazepam. Where did the bottle of diazepam come diazepam. from? Diazepam. It can help treat impulsive behavior in some people. I see. I see. Noted. Noted. I found some trophies. I gotta ask him everything, chat, so get buckle in. Lord, Lord drop. I don't know. I don't know. He's gonna ask about Why everything. Is there a blood stained cloth in one of the drawers? Okay, that was important to ask. I almost skipped that because it was technically something from Amy's story. I thought we need to ask him everything that that can be related I found to anything. A bottle of turpentine and a lighter. What were they for? You'd better ask Jimmy. Okay. Why was there a collection of whiskey bottles in one of the rooms? Who did the chef's hat belong to? Jimmy found it and put it on. Right, right. What do you know about suitcases? suitcases? In a chest. Who did they belong to? I don't know. You wouldn't. Of course you wouldn't fucking know. Who does the sword belong to? Who does the sword, the ancient sword, belong to? Thought? I thought you were a doctor. What do you mean you thought it was dangerous? Listen, I gotta ask about this Who child's purse. Who does purse belong to? I don't know. I saw a girl in the basement crying. Who was she? I don't know. The daughter of the hotel guest. I see, I see. I see, I see. Listen, I gotta ask you about Jimmy I saw stealing the girl stuff from Amy. To Jimmy to give her toy back. Why did he take it? I have no idea. It's just the kind of thing he did. I see. I see. You know anything about broken How did mirrors? How mirrors get broken? I didn't see them. Of course you wouldn't. You know anything Who about this wedding ring? Belong to? You don't know much, do you? 
The only thing about this goodbye you? note. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know many things, huh? Why is there an old For a doctor, you don't seem to know many things. Getting real quiet, doctor. I saw a scrapbook with newspaper articles in it. Who made it? Mm -hmm. Jimmy made it. It was a warning. I should have seen it coming. Okay. What's the washing Why line there about? A washing line tied around a rolling pin. Right. 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 Hang on. I need to ask him about the other stuff. I saw a man knocking on a door, telling Jimmy he was there to help. Who was it? It was me. I got a call from Rose. Jimmy's mother. Rose, okay. She wanted me to talk to Jimmy. Find out what was bothering him. But Harvey was worried about Jimmy's mind and the things he was imagining. Mm -hmm. Hey, I saw Amy lying. Amy dead. Upstairs. What's your opinion on that? What happened to her? She fell down the stairs from the top floor. She was too drunk to know what she was doing. It was the reason Rose got in touch with me. Right, 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 right. I can only relate things with items, unfortunately. I saw the little girl at the top of the stairs. On the banister, what was she doing? Jimmy made the girl drink too much. I'm just, I'm just crossing all my, my T's and dotting all my eyes. I Jeff. saw Amy drinking something. She didn't seem to like it. What was it? I wasn't there then, but I think she drank all. Just making sure I have everything covered. I saw Amy outside a room. It's the last night. Something frightened her. What was it? You don't know anything, huh? Okay. Did your call have anything to do with this weird washing line? When you said Harvey was worried about Jimmy's mind, does that have anything to do with what you said about the washing line and rolling pin? No, 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 no. He has nothing. Nothing for me. Okay, I'm gonna ask him this. About the scrapbook. When you said Harvey was worried about Jimmy's mind, does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? He's not, he's giving me nothing. Amy was more helpful than you, good sir. Now if you would please give me anything, anything, anything at all, sir. How about this cloth that you said you wanted to use as evidence? When you said Harvey was worried about Jimmy's mind, does that have something to do with the blood-stained cloth? Oh my god, this doctor's the fucking worst. Doc? Is someone there? He fucking hung up on me. He actually left. He fucking left. I need my scrying mirror. That's how, I, that's how I connect dots. I can't connect my own dots. He had another appointment. Wait. Why do I have a scrying mirror? They never took it. Or I found it magically. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Power pose. Is a doctor? One twenty-two. No, I don't want to go back down to one twenty-two. Jimmy looks like he's powering up in there. He's entering his final form. Maximum over, Jimmy. I don't really want to fuck with that whole deal. Haven't heard Jimmy in a while, though. Go, 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 go!
Go, 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 go. Hop, 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 h
dude, I remember the fucking paddle. My, oh god, I've already told the paddle story, dude, from my high school varsity soccer team. God, that was a dark time in my when life. When you said Harvey was worried about Jimmy's mind, does that have anything to do with what you said about those violent pictures? My God. Hugo Slam! Hugo! I started to realize there was another man. One Hugo Punch. Behind the wheel. He hung up on me. Who's there? Like an asshole Dr. Bose piece of shit, son of a bitch. Where do you run off to, doctor? Yes, but where? Floor one. Floor one's the bad floor. I hate floor one. Good news is, I'm very close to the exit. So, unless Jimmy's right outside the door, it's a very quick jog, hop and a skip off of this floor before Jimmy knocks my head off. As he tends to do. Don't do it, Jimmy. I don't see him anywhere. Oh, let's call the elevator. That's because, of course, he is on floor one. Jim Jim? Well, I want to go this way. But wasn't Jimmy in here? I have an idea. Bye. I'm going to take a big leak and let the Jimmy situation sort of simmer down on ground floor, baby. The safe floor. He yelled my name like he was really angry about something, so I'm going to let him simmer down and let you guys stare at this long open hallway because if Jimmy can come and get me, he'd come out of either this door or that door and fucking kill you. So I'll be back. Once I've taken a leak, BRB. Hey, is everything okay? I see Jimmy hasn't done anything to get you, so he must not be here. Anyways, back up to the first floor. We gotta find the doctor. <clears throat> yes. He's on this floor. Somewhere on this fucking floor. I believe it's actually technically the thing we want is in this hallway. Yeah.
Storm him. This is unfortunate. Ooh! Um, oh, <laughs> why? Okay, I gotta lock this door. Hang on, I, I gotta, I gotta lock this fucking door. Cool. Now then, doctor. Is it Doctor Bose? Doctor Bose. Doctor Bose, good to see you. Hey, want to ask you about that dead animal? I saw you holding up a dead animal on a wire. What had happened? Got you a dead rabbit for a present? Did this have anything to do with the wooden paddle? <laughs> Did he paddle you the rabbit to death? With an idea to do something nice for you. Is that connected to what you said about the wooden paddle? Is this man a cat? Yeah, it's a little bit cat-like, isn't it? I saw it with the washing line on it, so um. When you said Jimmy came up with an idea to do something nice for you. Does that have anything to do with what you said about the washing line and rolling pin? Really? Nothing there? Nothing? Uh, Kelly Dings uh, came up with an idea right away. Could it have been a cool scrapbook? He made for you. He made that. It was a gift. When you said Jimmy came up with an idea to do something nice for you, does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? Nothing. Man, this guy's really fucking brick walling me here, dude. Could it have anything to do with this dangerous heater on the ground? This cloth. When you said you had a reaction to the cloth. To do something nice for you. Does that have something to do with the blood-stained cloth? Do you punch you in the nose? Wait a while before trying to make contact again. Son of a bitch. Scry for me. I think I'm missing an item again. Doctor. Meat. <laughs> Meat. That's bread. Could have also been meat. Could have been many things. Ah, uh, he's not in here, is he? Is it Dr. Bose? Dr. Bose? What an asshole, dude. What should I ask him then when I can talk to him again? Because I... Wasn't much to talk about. I could ask him about the violent drawings. Technically. But I asked him almost everything else and he had nothing. Jimmy found a chef's hat. And put it on. Maybe tried to cook him something. Either way, considering the uh, scrying thing isn't telling me to find the items, I think I, I think I have what I need. I just need to um, wait for the doctor to show back up somewhere. What an asshole! I cannot fucking believe he actually made. He's gonna make me go back out here to hang out with the guy. Let's go downstairs and back upstairs, and that'll make the game think that I did it. But first, I'm gonna go all the way upstairs. See if there's any ghosts around. Jimmy cooked Amy. He cooked her up, made her into a nice three-course meal. 
Jesus cooked her up, dude. He's a very busy ghost. Yeah, I mean, I know, right? Like, that's the fucking thing. Like, imagine being so fu- Like, that much of an ass that you won't help me when I'm, like, clearly in a situation right now, you know? Like, what an asshole. I didn't even mean to go down here. What's too much time? <laughs> How do I know that I've given this ghost enough time to simmer down so I can go back to ask him more questions? I guess I'll go to the kitchen quick. Any food? Any food? No? I've waited enough. I've waited I've waited long enough. If the game feels compelled to make me wait that long, it's lost its goddamn mind. So I'm going to take the stairs back up now. And stop letting the game stall. It might be in the stairwell. That sounded a little weird. Jimmy. I don't want him to see me go in here. I'm in big fucking trouble. Okay. Doctor. Is someone there? Doctor, please. Hello? Doctor. Is it oh, Dr. Bose? It's good to see you. Yes, I'm Dr. Bose. Now, you mentioned... Finding a dead animal. Could it have been that Jimmy wanted to prepare you a lovely meal with the rabbit? When you said Jimmy came up with an idea to do something nice for you, is that connected to what you said about the chef's hat? Yes. Jimmy said he'd make something for me. Got it, so baby. I him to see what he was going to do. Back to ground floor, I, uh, dude, I wouldn't say this lightly, all right? I would never say this lightly, but right now, when it said go to ground floor, I pogged pretty fucking hard, dude, first time my whole goddamn life. You know what I mean? First time in my fucking mortal life. Because I thought about the idea of not being on this floor where Jimmy can get me for a second fucking longer. Bye. Man, having access to the stairs is really nice. All right, we know it's in the kitchen. We we know where we're going. It's the kitchen, dude. Or it's the store room here. I think it's the kitchen. Hello? Hello? Who's in there? Jimmy Man! This is a great idea, Jimmy. I reckon you'll make a great cook one day. Oh, why don't you bring it up to me when you're done? I'll wait for you, okay? Imagine tricking your fucking like patient into making you meals under the guise of it being for their sake, dude. Imagine being like, ah, yes. <laughs> now I get a free meal out of this kid. Oh, I guess I need to talk to him from in here, don't I? I, I was like about to be like, oh, I guess I should go to his room with Jimmy. Doc? Hey, yo, Doc. Is it Dr. Bose? Dr. Bose. Hi, Doctor. He's too far away. Move closer. What do you mean? Is he right here? In the hallway? Is anyone there? Doctor? He's running from me. Hi. Dr. Bose. Dr. Bose? Yes. Dr. Bose. 
I want to talk to you about your meal. I saw you outside the kitchen talking to Jimmy. What were you doing? Jimmy was making me a sandwich. He brought it up to my room as I asked. I didn't suspect anything was wrong at first. Did he put like blades in the sandwich? What did he put in the... Did he put a powder in the sandwich? Uh, I wouldn't have eaten the sandwich. Dude, that, look. Dude, all right, here's the fucking deal. If I don't know the person and wouldn't trust them with my fucking life, and someone gives me any sort of sandwich, any, honestly, any meal in general, dude, that isn't, like, from a restaurant, dude, that stuff's getting a once-over. That sandwich is getting a fucking, like, flip-over. Just a quick check. Like, like, I don't care, dude. Unless you're, like, a bud. No, even then, I have been poisoned by friends. No, 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 no. This has to, this isn't every time, now. Every time, sniff, sniff test, fucking sandwich flip, bread flip, flip, bread check. Uh, you know, the whole nine yards. When you said you didn't suspect anything was wrong, does that have something to do with the blood-stained cloth? It was my first encounter with Jimmy's sense of humor. Floor three. Doctor, don't make me go to floor three. He hung up. God damn it. Bro, I'd rather fucking die than go to floor three. That's the de that's the death floor. That's where death goes. That's hell. That's kill floor. This Jimmy guy is fucking funny. Oh my god, he is, dude. He is fucking funny. Like that, we can all agree. One thing about Jimmy, we can all agree on. He is fucking funny. He's so funny. Jimmy? You hear me? Jimmy? I'm going this way. I do not know if this is my stop. Jimmy? I'm telling you, he's been lying about everything. Probably lying about the other stuff as well. Don't be ridiculous. He wouldn't lie about something like that. You sure about that? He lies about everything. Open your bloody eyes, Rose. That's ridiculous. Oh, that's right. Walk off. I'm not listening, Harvey. You've just got it in for him. It's the truth. We've got to get in there. We're getting in there. Seal the door. Jimmy? Hey. Is anyone there? Dr. Bones. Hello? What's your name? Harvey. Harvey? You're not Dr. Bose. Harvey. Harvey. I want to ask you about a man saying Jimmy I lied. a man saying Jimmy had lied about the assault. Who was he? It was me. Jimmy had made accusations about the doctor. Rose believed him, but I'd heard that story somewhere before. I see, I see. Dude, Jimmy's fucking crazy, man. Jimmy's fucking... Where did the wooden paddle come from? Where did the wooden paddle come from? It was always under the counter in reception. I don't know where it came from. Why? <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? You own the place. What do you mean? Ah, oh, it's always been there. Where did this, where did this fucking, like, caveman bat come from? I don't fucking know. It's been here since we, uh, we bought the place. I really couldn't tell you if I fucking tried. Anything. Listen, I gotta ask you about these violent Who drawings. Who drew those violent pictures? Who do you think? Jimmy. 
He had a very violent imagination, did little Jimmy. Right, right, right. Right. You don't need keys, everything. I gotta ask him, you know about you this the wedding, wedding ring? Belong to. You... Probably belongs to Rose. I see. You know what this dangerous heater label dangerous? dangerous? I was giving electric shock. I kept it so the police could check it. I see. You know what they mean? The scrapbook? scrapbook with newspaper articles in it. Who made it? Jimmy. He used to keep cutouts of news stories about abusive teachers and doctors. He wasn't a normal boy. Weird stuff for How did Jimmy, those mirrors dude. get broken? I don't remember that. Mm. You want to think about this diazepam? Where did the bottle of diazepam come diazepam? from? Diazepam? Probably the doctor left it. Right. 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 Someone was wondering if my sequence broke. No, nah, basically the game is designed so that there's like always sometimes two ghosts available. Like remember, I didn't finish Amy's story prior to this one activating. Uh, like prior to the like the doctor one starting. You know what I mean? Listen, I would like to sort of disconnect from this guy and go back to. Dr. Bose, though. So I'm gonna see this this and like go back and try to finish Dr. Bose's thing. If I can. If that's an option. There's the girl. There's the doctor. I'd rather get them one at a time for one. Okay. And that's Harvey. And he's floor three. You gotta ping me that right now. What the hell? That's the scrapbook thing. And there's Jimmy. Actually, I'm gonna ask the doctor. I'm gonna ask Harvey about this now. Yo. Is it Harvey? Yo, Harvey. So there's a solid chance that he lied about the doctor thing because of this scrapbook, is when what he said. When you said you'd heard the story somewhere before, does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? Let's finish this part first. It came straight out of it. As soon as I found that scrapbook, I knew where Jimmy had got it from. It was the same, down to every detail. He hung up on me. All right, well, we're going to floor one anyways. Floor one's the uh, doctor zone. But that means I have to get out of floor three. Jimmy might be here. There's really no evidence to prove the contrary. Jimmy? Jimmy? <laughs> Jimmy, no. Jimmy, you don't gotta do anything you don't wanna do, man. <laughs> you don't gotta do anything you don't wanna do, man. Don't do it. I'm staying right here. <laughs> you ain't. You ain't fooling me for anything, Jimmy. I'm staying right here. 
I ain't moving a fucking inch from this goddamn spot. You'd have to be out of your goddamn mind to get me out of here. Not in a million fucking years am I getting out. Oh my god, I just want to get to the fucking elevator, dude. I just want to see. Man, let me go, Jimmy, you know what I mean? Let me go. Anything wrong with just letting me go? You know? Let me go. He's right there, but I but the other exit's right here. Let me go. Just let me go. You just, have to, you just have to let me go. You gotta let me go. You have to let me go. <laughs> you have to let me go. Jimmy. You gotta let me go. I, I just pressed a random button. What floor was I going to? Floor one? I believe I was going to floor one. In reality. I know what you guys are like I know where I I know where my current elevator ride is taking me. I meant where I was supposed to go. That's in the toilet? Hello? Jimmy! Sort of wondering what that other sound is. I'm hearing like talking. Is it Dr. Bose? Dr. Bose? Dr. Bose, I would like to talk to you about your poison. I saw you spitting out blood. What happened? Jimmy had put broken glass in my sandwich. I nearly choked on it. I kept the cloth and glass so I could go to the police, but I realized I'd underestimated Jimmy's illness. I simply had to step up his treatment urgently. Right. Hey, did you fucking... What about the paddle, dude? When you said you needed to step up Jimmy's treatment urgently, is that connected to what you said about the wooden paddle? Did you paddle him? He doesn't know. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Look, I gotta ask, though. I gotta ask. About the diazepam. Know what I'm saying? When you said you needed to step up Jimmy's treatment urgently, does that have something to do with what you said about the diazepam? It wasn't the ideal medication, but it was all I had. Jimmy needed treating immediately. He was dangerous. Or two. Not back to floor two. Never send me back to floor. <laughs> He's sending me back to floor two. Who is talking? Hello? Look, I'm gonna worry about Dr. Bose and his deal before I start worrying about this ghost that doesn't even have a compass marker. It's a radio, you think? Ah, uh, floor two. The most cursed floor. Oh, 
it isn't. Never mind, I was wrong. Jimmy's got a special stink to him. You think this opens all storeroom doors? Yes. Fucking, they got like a bumper car. Okay, well, that doesn't really help me. I didn't actually want to go this way. The compass is pointing to Hirish. No, it's not, though, is it? It's not really pointing there. This is a weird compass. This compass is fucking, like, actually really aggravating sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it wants me to go into what looks to be the storeroom. Was that the sound of Jimmy? Jimmy? Hello? Who's over here? Uh, uh, uh. This won't hurt, Jimmy. All you have to do is to stand still and stop moving around. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and ask the doctor about this one. Is it Dr. Bose? Dr. Bose, are you here? Hey, Dr. Bose. You're really quiet, but I guess you're close enough to me. I think he's too far away. I think I have to move five inches forward. Is this the Dr. Yeah. Bose zone? Why is that button five inches from the audio thing? Is it Dr. Bose? Hi, Jimmy, I'm here. Okay, I'm just gonna go inside this room now. I think this is the Dr. Bose zone. You guys know what I'm saying? Is it Dr. Bose? Dr. Bose? I'm Dr. Bose, yes. Dr. Bose, wanted to ask you about the injection needle. I saw you with needle. a needle talking to Jimmy. What were you doing? Jimmy refused to let me administer the drug. I had to chase him around the hotel. <laughs> Then he told Rose I tried to force him to take it, that I'd used violence. Well, you did chase him. It was ridiculous. You did literally, quite literally chase him. So, I mean, like, did you then paddle him? Was it, did the, the, the paddle when come into play? you said Jenny refused to let you administer his medicine, is that connected to what you said about the wooden paddle? Now, where does the paddle come in? Jimmy said I used the paddle to be... Oh, I actually was right. Mother of God. He fucked off again. God damn it. Activate scrying mirror. If chasing people is a crime, I'd be locked up years ago. Dude, I'm Monka. I, I don't usually say emotes out loud, but I'm Monka Wing at that. You're freaking me the fuck out. What the hell are you talking about, man? I gotta go back to ground floor. Wait, no, but that's a, no, that's Edward. Edward is on floor two, because I don't believe I finished his deal, right? Yeah, Ed, Edward is on floor three. Doctor is on ground floor. And I believe that means Jimmy's spooking around floor two. My floor. Right now. Jimmy? Jimmy? We 
just have to get out of here before he fucking catches wind of our antics. This is a dead end and I know it is. God in heaven. Ah, Jimmy. Ah, yes. Back to spooky room. I do not have the key for this. You think he's gonna fucking fall for this five times in a row? <laughs> One day, he's just gonna open the door and kill me. And that day is probably today. Hi. Hi. Don't do it. He's gonna do it. He hasn't closed the door yet. He's faking it. He's actually faking it. He's faking it. He didn't actually leave. He closed the door with him inside of the room with me. Dude, it pisses me the fuck off that like one person posted Jerma bald in my chat. And like quite literally, it is an almost one for one at this point, And it's starting to freak me out and ruin the whole stream for me. It's actually like pissing me off that it's... <laughs> That's very close. <laughs> Did you know that Jimmy's not in the fucking room? <laughs> At least you know he's not in the room. But I still have to leave. And I have no idea how. He might just get me. Full disclosure, he might just bop me. It's the exit! Jimmy, it's been a pleasure. It really has. I want to thank you for having me at the hotel today. But uh, I'm on the ground floor, baby. The big G. today are you in here i do not believe <laughs> okay he's never use force like that on a patient mrs hall it goes against everything i believe in you have to understand he's making it all up man this place is haunted as shit dude all right doc let's talk is it Dr. Bose? Dr. Bose? Yes, I'm Dr. Bose. I need you to explain explaining everything that happened. I saw you trying to explain what happened with Jimmy. You seemed desperate. I was worried that Rose would believe Jimmy. It was a bare-faced lie. But I managed to convince Rose Jimmy was making it up. Floor two, not floor two, dude. Don't send me back to fucking floor two. Don't go. He went, he left. God damn it. Send me back to floor fucking two. <laughs> Again, is that where we just were? Oh my God. Dude, I cannot floor two with Jimmy in the floor two zone, dude. I just cannot. Could be worse, it could be floor three. Dude. Oh God, mother of God. Go to telephone. No, you guys can't handle, that's the scariest floor of all. Chat. Hey, 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 it's me. I'm back again, Jimmy. <laughs> He's this way. 
Oh god, what the fuck am I do He's right there. Take this opportunity to book it! Run! This room! Storeroom! Lock it behind me! Wrong key! Hello? Unlock the door first. Let me in! Let me in! Let me in! should start again, don't you? Why don't you do what I ask you to do this time? That would be a good start, wouldn't it? Doctor, starting to act a little bit creepy, dude. I don't know if I like the doctor very much. Hey, doctor. Is it Dr. Bose? Dr. Bose? Hey, man. I saw you sitting on a bed talking to Jimmy. What were you doing? Right, right. Did this have anything to do with the wacky scrapbook? You said Jimmy made up another lie about you. A much worse lie. Does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? Jimmy accused me of the worst crime possible. He took it from a newspaper story he'd read. He was making it all up. And let me guess, now you're gonna make me run all the way down to floor BG or something. Uh, dude, now you're gonna, now you're gonna send me across the country to meet you in like fucking London or some shit. He refunded a PayPal payment. Yeah, that's what I'm fucking thinking, dude. G, I love it when it says G. We can hang up right now. I love that. I, I fucking love it when the game says go back to floor G. Anything's better than floor three, you know? All we have to do, chat, is get back out of the building. You know, easy stuff. Easy fucking stuff I'm gonna take my chances going through the store with the spooky uh actually cursed mannequin zone Jimmy are you about to knock my head off today Jimmy or be cool clown I'm not surprised I went the wrong fucking way. It's a straightaway. All I had to do is not get bonked for two more fucking clicks. I feel like Jimmy left. I think Jimmy scampered. Grab flow, grab flow, grab flow. Grab, 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 grab. Okay, cool. Man, this game is tense as fuck though. It is tense as fuck. Hello? Oh god, it's knocking guy. Hello? This room's lit up now. 
Wait, this whole hallway is new. Oh wait, no, it just wasn't lit before, so I couldn't see this doorway. Hello? Door there. I'd like to check this door out. I mean, we're looking for a light that's flickering. None of this is anything just yet. Probably won't go to the front door. But the compass says here. The compass says doctor decided to play out run again. So I'm guessing Rose called the police after listening to what Jimmy said. Is it Dr. Bose? Yes, I'm Dr. Bose. I saw you upset and heard the police banging on the door. What was going on? Rose reported me. I knew they'd strike me off. I had no career, no future. I decided to take control once and for all. I see, I see. Does this have anything to do with the wooden paddle though, is the thing. Yes? Anything to do with the, probably not the paddle. I'm gonna bet, probably. If I had to make a guess, uh, he probably did it in the arcade with a sword. <laughs> I had to take a guess, uh, Mr. Dr. Bose, uh, did it in the arcade with sword. Or maybe the wire experiment thing that we haven't used so far all game is probably gonna end up being what it is. When you said you decided to take control once and for all, does that have anything to do with what you said about the washing line and rolling pin? I experimented with the washing line, but it was too thin. I found some rope instead. I still had my keys to the hotel, so I crept in one night while our night was on bail. Why? But wait. But why do it at the hotel? <laughs> Good teachers, love it. You're gonna teach them a lesson they'll never forget. Drop the entire property value, tank the value of the whole hotel. Down to lower ground. Everything leads to LG, chat. You're right. Everything leads to LG. My compass says this way. Is he about to do with an elevator? Okay, this is psycho shit. All right. Jesus. I mean, I guess it's a pretty metal way to do it. I guess that's one of the most metal ways you could do it. Is it Dr. Bose? Uh, hi, Dr. Bose. I watched you killing yourself. I saw you tying a rope around your neck. You killed yourself. Why? I'd had enough. There was no going back. My life was over anyway.
looks like the next story is at the, uh... Yeah, Dr. Bose's story is complete. Damn! This game's fucking depressing. <laughs> this game's really depressing. I'd have to put in the next disc. If I wasn't done streaming today. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be back tomorrow. At... 4 p.m. EST. Solid chance we'll be going back to Coin Game because Coin Game got another arcade put in this week. As in, literally, a whole nother building. Uh, whole deal. Whole thing. Golf. They added mini golf and like eight new arcade machines. So, whole new pile of content to play in that. So, there's a good chance we're going back to Coin Game. All right. More scratch cards. More macaroni. More, ch more cheese. Again. All right, I can't hold, I can't stop. But yeah, the game saves whenever you finish one of these conversations, so I am safe to turn off my game. Hang on, as soon as I make sure that, okay, spinny thing's gone, game over. Yeah, I'd love to keep going, but chat, honestly, finishing at the end of a story character is a fucking excellent stopping point for this game. We may come back to it. We might end up beating this, but um, yeah, stopping like fucking stopping right on a character's completion achievement is the way to do it for the sake of, you know, having a stopping point. So people like everything's contained stories. It'll be much easier to fall if I do do it again now because of it. I also want to do Skyrim. That may end up being tomorrow too. One or the other. It'll be coin game of Skyrim. Probably I do want to return back to the Skyrim zone. But yeah, this game's good. Story's great. Uh, it's suspenseful and spooky. Um, we'll see. I, I, if I don't come back to it, then let it be known. I give this game two thumbs up. Acting is fucking awesome. The gameplay, while a little bit repetitive, going back up and down, up and down stairs over and over again. Um, it's obviously not exactly intended for you to do it the way I'm doing it, which is chasing one person's story the whole time. I believe you're actually intended to like sort of do multiple at the same time, but it's a little bit more uh, important to go one at a time when you're doing a stream for the sake of, you know, people being able to follow what's going on, you know? But uh, yeah, good fucking fun time. Excellent recommendation. I'm trying to find my mouse on my screen. There it is.